Player Mode. In Player Mode, you can play back WAV audio files from an SD card. While an audio file plays in Player Mode, you can perform on an instrument connected to the Stageman 80 and even record your performance. WAV audio files can be copied from your computer to the Stageman 80 SD card. Power off the Stageman 80. and remove the SD card. I'm using a PC, but a Mac works basically the same way. I have inserted the SD card into my computer, and I'll copy a couple of WAV audio files from my computer into one of the M1 through M8 locations in the player folder of the SD card. When you've finished copying the audio files, remove the SD card from your computer and insert it into the Stageman 80. Then power on the Stageman 80. To play an audio file, go to Player Mode. Holding down the M1 button shows how many WAV files are in that folder here. I have two files. The first file on the SD card is automatically selected. Press play. You can play and sing along. You can even adjust the tempo without affecting the pitch, plus or minus 25%. When the file has finished playing, the next file plays, because by default, Loop Auto is on. You can turn it off and on here. When all the files on the SD card have played, playback stops. A song that you record in recorder mode cannot be played back directly in player mode. It must be converted into a WAV audio file which automatically saves it to the SD card. Then it can be played in player mode. To do so, I go to Recorder Mode, select the song, then press Write, then OK. By default, the WAV file is put into the lowest available location in the M1 folder on the SD card and given a name and number, for example, Song 0001. Since the WAV file is on the SD card, it can also be transferred to your computer from the SD card. You can record your performance together with an audio file that's playing in player mode. Plus, you can convert an audio file on the SD card into song data that you can use to play, overdub, punch in and out, etc. in recorder mode. In player mode, select the audio file that you want to import. Press the Write button. Select the Import Destination Song Number. The display indicates the song number. The number of a new song blinks, and the number of an already recorded song is lit. The lowest numbered new song is selected automatically. Press OK to import the song. If you had selected an already recorded song whose number was lit and begun the import, the selected song data would be erased and overwritten by the imported data. OK, it's done. The imported WAV file is now ready to be used in recorder mode.